Good afternoon, this is Stormcast, Stormcast Comic Collectibles, and I recently ordered this Walt Disney Comics, number issue 158, it's a Carl Barks issue, to share, uh, the last Carl Barks book I did, um, people seem to enjoy, so, got this one here now, this has a crease down the middle, this is a subscription crease, I knew about this. It's got the person who originally bought the book. It's from 1953. So it is an old book. Now, I wanted to show off the Karl Barks art, and that was the purpose of this, but there's also something else. When you are buying old books, you want to make sure that when you get them in the mail, as soon as you get them in the mail, you want to check them. Make sure that you've got pretty much, like I said, this is a this is Golden Age book. Let's see what we got here. So, we're going to count. It's a 52-page comic book magazine, which I believe makes it a 13 pages to the fold. Should be 13, I think, I believe. So, we've got one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And that's where we have the problem. So the first thing I did, what you notice here is this is a Pluto story right here. Walt Disney's Pluto. This is not Karl Barks' art. And the story doesn't end. This here is the Littlest Brave. It does not start. So when you get old books, you want to check should be a page should have an ending and a beginning so this book is not complete and uh, the person I ordered from is gone out and fixed down there and I'm getting a refund and I am um, but let me keep the book because I mean they really can't sell it it's a reputable dealer but you know just to show up there that uh I should always check. Go through here. You got uh, another story. One of the things also besides checking to make sure it goes to the fold. Got a Grandma Duck story. It's, I don't think that's many, honestly. Um, there is a, another little Mickey Mouse story here, and then there is. Uh, Donald Duck, a little cameo by Daisy Duck, another Donald Duck story here. Um, this is 1950 Walt Disney Productions. I honestly think these are reprints from the weekly comic strips of uh, daily. I mean, you can look at it as a way it's set up. You got your five panels, but you want to go through, and make sure that you're not missing. Uh, got this book, story in a collection, collected book I bought. But uh, I want to go through and make sure that you're not like missing anything overtly, you know, like the coupons. Make sure you can see the, the subscription crease. I knew the subscription crease was in there. That was, that was not an issue. I bought this. Um, Apogee, my oldest, is a Daisy Duck fan. So I was like off there, but it's nice to see it's a Halloween cover. Not a Halloween story, but I just want to show off, you know, when you get it when you when you buy old Golden Age books, and some silver and silver age, honestly, really you, you wanna check to make sure that you know that they are complete. Um, 
staples are in pretty good shape. There's impressions. I don't think it was restapled. It is. They are off centered. Let me pull you down to them. They are pretty shiny. I mean, it could have been. I mean, somebody at some point could have restapled. But you know, they got impressions sitting there, so. Anyways, that is all I wanted to show you about always check your old books because, you know, that being said, Walt Disney Donald Duck. This is uh, Carl Barks and his art. And uh, so this is the opening scenes of this drama take place in early summer. Youch! My star is a bee in the house. Oh well, I mean, I could do a Donald Duck impression, but oh, yeah, I don't think you really want that. So there's another bee. Another one's so close. Multiple bees. <clears throat> we got. I mean, it's such. A, this is such amazing art, which is, you know, what I want to do is get to just show off the art. I'm really sorry, the crease there in the middle. But, I mean, this is like, look at those action lines. And Carl Barks was um, the guy who created Astro Boy, designed this little look of Astro Boy and a lot of manga and regular comics, and even series like The Simpsons, all comes out inspired by... This Carl Barks. I mean, look at the, you got these great motion lines. You know, Donald's out here is like, oh, I'll get here to save our side. And he crashes, you got these great motion lines. You got all the action. Such great detail if you look. I mean, check out the trash can. You got, you can see the bits of blades of grass, bits of the stone. And the most fascinating thing is, is Carl Barks never had professional training. He grew up on a little farm, didn't even finish school. And while he was taking care of this farm, he learned, he did correspondence courses, which his father allowed him to do. You know, while he was doing his chores with the family on the farm, and he learned how to draw on his own. And I mean, that is like a phenomenal, you don't see some modern artists who can draw and you know, a lot of other art at the time, you know, it was not as good. I mean, you know, this is 1953. This is this is some amazing looking stuff. You, know, you look at the details in the town. Donald's taking it through. I mean, you look at your broken glass. I mean, just look at Duckburg. Look at the amount of detail and six speed buggy. But uh. You know, I understand that a lot of artists, even like George Perez and uh, Jack Kirby and stuff, they had looked at and were inspired by some of his styles that, you know, people didn't know who he was for years. You know, they, because the idea was that did, all the books were done by Walt Disney. That's what, that's what they wanted to promote. You know, so that... It, Everybody was to believe that all these books are. I mean, look at the. I mean, check this out. Look at look at those action lines. Look at the hands moving. I mean, this is some real good stuff. You know, and and you know, he got to do what he loved. This is Carl Barks is the guy who wrote, who made up the story where Donald goes to the barber shop and sits in the the electric chair with a self self. Uh, uh, the robot chair, which gives him a haircut and shave. And he's the one who made that story. It's, I mean, so... But if you just look at all the stuff here, this is... You know, it looks like the junior woodchucks were doing a hive of bees and someone stole it. And You know, that's when Donald was there. 
I mean, but I mean, there's some great details in the stuff. Chases all around. Goes back and gets the bee nest. The honey boy with the bees, help, please. I mean, this is some good art. Just, just look at that. And I'm not really reading. Because, honestly, I would feel inclined to do a Donald Duck voice. And that would just, like, that would be the end of it. But... But I just want to show off this art. The watermelons taste like rutabagas and the kumquats taste like chives. Apparently the bees cross pollinated everything. They took it, they took it and they pollinated everything because it tastes weird. We got this more. I mean honestly. Sorry, there's a story going on outside. That's what you're gonna hear. My dog is gonna bark now. Bella, Ooh. Bella, honey. But Bella, please. But anyways, I just wanted to show off this. Well, the purpose of this was to show off this. I mean, this is some gorgeous art. I've been trying to collect a bunch of the Carl Barks stuff because I want. I mean, I don't know. I mean, honestly, this almost looks like he did this too. You look at these details. But the there are other artists credited in the thing, so I well I don't think they have the same look, but I mean this is still some good looking art. Anyways. Some more. King Kill the Marvel. We got a the Big Bad Wolf. The little, what's the little good wolf? And of course there's Pinocchio. But like I said I was trying to make sure that uh honestly I wish I did do wish I knew who did what the rest of these artists were. But uh I mean, this Mickey Mouse looks a lot different than the Mickey we have these days. Actually, I think he looks different than the other Mickey Mouse inside the... I may have to get another copy just so I can finish up the story. There's a little brave wolf. I mean, but, I mean this this is, was some good... I mean, I mean, the little... The little, uh... The little Indian brave, I think that was called. I mean, it's still some good, fairly decent detail. The coyote's kind of weird looking. But you look over here at this Mickey Mouse. It looks different than the other Mickey Mouse. And this is some good art. My dogs are going to bark again in a second. But uh, this is by Tribute King Feature Syndicated. So this is definitely the weekly comic strip. It has Walt Disney's signature down there. But I don't know if Walt was actually doing the art himself. Grandma Duck. Anyways, I just wanted to show off the Carl Bark stuff. Like I said, this is all syndicated stuff here. It's got a Walt Disney down the bottom, but again, I don't think that's much more. And there's the other, other Mickey Mouse story. And he does look a bit different than the other Mickey's. But anyways, this is a storm castle. I just wanted to, mostly I wanted to show off the Carl Barks art and show off why you always, when you get books, you want to check out the inside because if you don't, like if I had waited a few weeks and not checked right away, then I realized I was missing these pages. I would have been stuck for what I paid for the you know, book on an incomplete book. But anyways, I just want to show you this nice art and have a good one.